Listen to that sound. Sounds like custom music discs. Let's see how to add those. Alright, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to add our own custom music disc to the game. And this is actually something that is fairly straightforward and not that difficult. So first of all, we need our mod sound events class and in there we simply make a new sound event so this is going to be the bar underscore brawl because that's the name of the actual well song we're gonna use and this is bar brawl so this is all that we need for the sound event itself we of course also need to add that to the sounds.json file and there is something that's very interesting i'm going to copy this over and i'm going to explain the name here is completely normal and then the sound here it has a very interesting thing and that is it has stream true because this in ca this case is actually a stream right because when we put the music disc into the jukebox then we want it to play and then it can end at any time basically that's sort of how you can think about this and in the sounds folder we of course also want to add the actual sound itself the barbrawl.ogg uh, this is actually public domain so you can reuse this if you would want to credit by the way goes to freepd.com uh, this was written by Brian Teo. Just wanted to mention that link is of course in the description below. The last thing that we want to add is the actual disk. This is just a normal, this is just a normal item. So we'll actually take this sign up here and then add this. This is going to be the bar underscore brawl underscore music underscore disk. A long name, but that's okay. And then here once again, bar underscore brawl underscore music underscore disk right here. And then instead of a sign item, this is a music disk item now the music disc item actually takes in three parameters the first is the comparator value and the second one is going to be a supplier of a mod sound events dot get and of course those two here can go away and then let's actually format this a little bit nicer something like this there you go isn't that beautiful so this value is basically the comparator value that is output when this is being played and you put a comparator next to the jukebox that's sort of the idea here this is just the sound that's being played and then the rest here is just the normal item properties and then the max stack size is one and that pretty much is it Oh, of course it's not. We also need to add a item model. We're just going to copy this one over here. And this item model simply points to a specific texture. So this is just a normal texture, basically. This is uh, this texture right here, which we're going to add to the item. And then there's one more thing, and that is one, and that is basically the translation here. And this is going to be bar underscore brawl underscore music underscore disc, right? So this is going to be the... Let's just call this the barbarol. That's fine. And then we have the same one with that description. So disk. And this is just going to be, let's just call this a barbarol description for the time being. This is, of course, desk, not disk. So that's uh, actually kind of important. And now we can see if it works. Or we found ourselves in Minecraft. And as you can see, the actual disk has been added to the game. Now let's also get out a jukebox and let's see if it also plays the music. And there it is. I mean, we're breaking out into dances here. That's amazing. And we can also just take it out and then the music stops again. So that's actually how easy it is to add your own custom music disc to the game. Right, and that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would, of course, appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.